So this is Aspen Woods. It's a beautiful neighborhood. This is a neighborhood that probably the rest of Canada thinks about when they think about Calgary. The people that are living in this neighborhood are fairly well to do. When I looked yesterday at the MLS listings for the neighborhood, the average price of a single family home started at around 1.2 million and went up from there. One house in this neighborhood recently sold, I believe, for about $12 million. The Aspenwood Landing Shopping Mall is a beautiful mall. It has its own lake. Um, not all malls have their own lake. And it has its own, in the summer, waterfall as well. So you can see in the horizon there, that's Weber Academy. Um, and that's um, one of the more prestigious schools in Calgary. It's a private school. And we're going to go there next. This is where the elite of Calgary might send their children, whereas other neighborhoods would be, you know, where not the elite send it. And we'll show you that as well. So let's go into the Weber Academy and see if we can get a tour. In Alberta, we receive 70% of the funding that a public school or Catholic school would receive for the same student. So in essence, our parents are paying the tax and paying the tuition for their children to be here. We have an executive chef that's off to um, Hong Kong for culinary Olympics. We have a very solid food program here. We do have some, uh, quite a few what people would categorize as middle class families here where the families are giving up the second vehicle or the annual trip to Hawaii to educate their kids here or at any private school where there's a tuition base. So the property line is to where that cell tower is all the way across so we have about a 5K loop into the trees for cross-training, uh, running, cross-country skiing in the winter time, and I think the theater was our swan song as far as development's concerned out here on this campus, and we'll go there next. So we'll turn on the lights here and give you a peek of the Performing Arts Center. So we have 450 seats in the lower level and two balconies with 25 seats each, and we rent this out to the community as well as it's a home for our music programs, our uh, drama programs. We're now going into the east part of Calgary, and that's where you'll see much more of the working poor um, living in Calgary. So it's very, very different than Aspen Woods, where we just came from. We are not going to see a, a lake in the shopping center, nor do you see any waterfalls. We just passed some, you know, discount stores. We just passed things like the dollar store. We're coming up to quick loans, so pawn shop, cash stores. The idea of having cash stores on every single corner is not an accident. So people here are living off debt. They're living off much lower income. We're looking at around $40,000 per household whereas the neighborhood we just came from was, um, you know, we're looking at $150,000, $200,000 per household. Patrick Early School is noted to be one of Calgary's poorer schools. So welcome to Patrick Early School. I'd like you to um, meet the principal of the school, um, Jean Johnson. So Jean? You're welcome. Thank you. Did you notice our new sign? No, I didn't. <laughs> Thank you. Let's have a look. You remember it was that Chinese Oh, okay. That's great. We don't really have a science separate facility. What we do have is we have a storage room where we keep our science supplies and teachers will go and collect those supplies when they're doing a specific unit. Can we see that? 
<laughs> it's a bit of a mess, to be honest. We make do with whatever we can. And because in our environment we have specifically just classroom allotments from the provincial government, so we have to maximize the amount of space that is used for instructional purposes. And so we don't have anything like a fine arts room or even an art room or a science room. This is our storage space. So this is where our opera set is being designed. This is where all of our art supplies are maintained. And again, teachers would come and specifically select what they need and take them to their classroom. These are our science resources. All right, so welcome to our fine and performing arts area. We are in a school gymnasium, so it has three purposes. One is for performance, and one is for our gym phys ed program, and as well our lunchroom service. So we just came back from the Weber Academy, as you know, it's a private school, and we learned that it receives public funding, just as your school receives public funding. Now it does receive a bit less, but um, what are your thoughts on that? I don't understand why our tax dollars are going to support private education in order to privilege those who are already privileged in our society. I think it's reprehensible. I'm 28. I'm a mom of three. Summer, Sierra, and Cordell aged nine, seven, and three. I'm educated. I've got a good job, and I'm still struggling. It's not like I'm not trying to pull myself out of that rut. It's just, it's hard. Walking to work in the morning, you know, thinking, okay, these next eight hours are going to be, what, like $170 towards rent. So for the next, I'm going to say, seven days, I'm working to pay just the rent. For the next three days after that, I'm working to cover, say, the utility bill. The next two days after that would be the phone and cable. You keep adding more days and more days and more days and it pays for food or school supplies or shoes, clothing, the fun stuff so that the kids have no idea what's going on behind closed doors. We have two growing daughters and we have friends that give us clothing for our kids so it helps us out in that benefit. If it wasn't for a lot of our friends, we'd be in a really rough spot in a lot of times. And it's really stressful on our part and the money situation is very stressful too. For Trevor, I don't think that his job is perfect for him. It's a very dangerous job and um, they don't pay him enough. And no. he's been there for 10 years. I get a thousand dollar paycheck every two weeks. By the time I pay my babysitter and pay our bills, we have 40, $50 for ourselves. And that's not a lot of money. So what can we do? We can't go to the movies. We, we can't go out and enjoy ourselves with each other because we can't pay the babysitter extra money to go out. There's not much that you can do with no money. Sometimes I do think less of myself, actually. The rich people have no idea what it's like in our position. They're rich, they have the money. They don't have to stress over, you know, whether there's enough food on the table or whether the kids have the basic necessities. So, and basic is literally food and clothing. Rich people, they go and they think, you know, $75 on a pair of shoes is nothing for me. $6 on a pair of shoes could be a jug, and, a jug of milk and a loaf of bread that the kids aren't getting either. Thank you.